everyone. Happy Wednesday. It's Joni with Weathered Wings where I'm always trying to encourage you to create. Okay, create something pretty. All right, so today, all right, I have this huge, um, what do they call these, these uh, demi loon vases or whatever? I think that's what they're called. But I've decided that I want to paint mine. I have this sitting on my little chest at the foot of my bed, but gotten to where I like to paint all my glass. Now, um, normally I would just clean this with some rubbing alcohol, but let's just see how it goes. Okay. And I'm going to start with, I've got Tarnished Pearl out here. I'm using DIY paint in the color. This is Tarnished Pearl. This is Sandy Blonde. And then I've got, Hopefully this will be enough. And then I've got a little gravel road. All right, so I'm just gonna start, I think with my sandy blonde. And I usually just, um, oh shoot, I hate when my brush doesn't fit in there just so. I usually just use a little chip brush and just lightly brush on the glass. This paint covers glass very well. I can't remember where I saw. I think I was, um, I think I was uh, in this little community close to me, uh, where it just has a lot of shopping, and I saw some really big glass, um, you know, jug type things like this in a really nice uh, store. Theirs had um, had like some, like I could put some molds around here as well. I think theirs had something on it like that. I thought, you know what, I've got several of those. I'm gonna paint mine to look like that. Now, so the first coat, I just do something really, you know, I just do it really light. Now, you can find these, um, you know, you can find these at the thrift store. Home Goods has a lot of them, and they're pretty cheap probably about $19.99 or so, something like that. And they have smaller ones. You can paint them any color. All right, I'm just gonna stop right here and I'll, I'll do the rest after I dry this up here. Now you could put um, molds on these like I was mentioning or um, like some uh, a transfer, I've done both. These, I just kind of want it to look like concrete. Now, or stone, something like that. All right, so you see how this is just, um, it, it, this paint just covers really easily. It sticks really easily, I should say, and I'll have to do more coats to, but I like to use like three different um, neutral shades when I do this. So I, maybe a, um, I usually use a white and a, some kind of a tan and some kind of a gray, but any shades of those. I think I got it all. I mean, I like it better already, just that color. All right, I'm gonna dry it at the top, especially so I can hold on to it. Now, the reason I'm drying this is because um, I'm gonna dry brush these other colors and I really don't want them to blend. If I do decide I want them to blend, I would use water. So All right. And so you can see, let me show you. So it, it dries, you know, it covers pretty well and dries really well. It has a little bit of texture on there. If you, I like that because I'm gonna be using these other colors and I want them to kind of catch on the little um, ridges, but if you don't like that, if you want it super smooth, you could always take a fine grit sandpaper, I get these at uh, Lowe's, and just sand down those little, um, you know, you just sand down any little raised areas, part of this, where I can hold on to it. Here, you just start playing. Um, but the 
chip brush right here is what makes a big difference to me. You can use any brush, but I love the chip brush has the little soft edges on the top, so it's just going to lightly brush it on. And what I found was, you know, when you, especially the first coat, if you use a good brush, it kind of starts um, wiping the paint off like it doesn't. I, don't, I can't explain it, but it just kind of starts pulling up instead of staying on like this chip brush. Ooh, I'd like to add, um, make some of those, what is it, the little wooden ball uh, garland? So DIY paint, let me show you this real quick. Yeah, I have it over there. Let me grab that real quick. So I made this using DIY paint. It's just a little wooden bead uh, garland that's really cute hanging over this. And I like soaked the little wooden beads in the, in the paint and water because this paint, I want to say that was bo boho blue too, but this paint is so pigmented that you can water it down, they say eight times, and still have the same vibrant color. So that was an easy way to just kind of paint all those um, at one time. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the gravel road. Let me dry this though, I like to dry it first. I'm going in with gravel road now. You just play until you get it like you want it. But I like to see three different colors. Even if I have to like sand back a little bit. So I think this is good. Let's see. I'll we'll have to do the bottom. Right, let me dry it and then we'll play with it. I'm gonna show this up close so you can kind of see the little lines that the chip brush is. Let me dry it. Let me just show it up close real quick. Well, it's heavy. So you can kind of see. All right. So all the different colors are on there. Now, this is where you can take, I um, hope there's no color on here. Now, you can also blend some color with, the, um, with a sanding sheet. All right. So I'm trying to see if you can. So. Sorry, y'all, that noise bothers you. So this will stand back to some of, you know, the different colors in between, but it also makes it smooth. And so I don't like it smooth. I like it to have, see how that sounds? And see how that sounds? That's smooth. And that just has the texture on there. So, I like it like, like this, um, but of course you would need to play with it a little bit and see, but you just, if there's spots that look like they needs touching up, just go back over it. And you just do it in thin layers and it'll cover very well, so I'll come back and do those. Then I start kind of taking what's left on the brush and doing like a cross hatch with just a little bit of paint. See the little piece coming through. Just 
so it won't look so like, you know, like I painted all around. Going back with Tarnished Pearl right now. And I'll probably go back over about two different times. Okay. Now I'm going to try to do this um, without drying this now. I'm going to go back with the... Um, my original color. And I'm really just hitting the spots that I did not hit with the other color because I don't want it to blend. Get the spots right there. Less is more on your brush, because I just had a little too much on my brush over here. But the more you, um, the more you add, the more texture it's going to have. So you can't add too much. So you just can't add too much. Like, it'll just start, you know. Alright, I'm liking this. Let me dry it, make sure there's no spots. Um, that need touching up. I think most of it's dry. See, I just keep playing. And so what you would need to do, like, like this is what I, I really love it right in right in here. Right in there. I can see all the colors. Oh, it's heavy and it's um, textury. All right, so again, that's what we started with, just glass. And then you just keep adding layers on there. Keep playing. Like for instance, I have, you know, there's a kind of a good bit of gray right here. You just take your, like I said, less is more on your brush. So if you have to just dip it in the lid and a lot of times I'll take a paper towel. So this is truly dry brushing, but I don't necessarily call this too dry brushing because I'm covering a pretty good bit of it, but you could dip it in here in, in the lid even, and then just kind of offload a little bit so you won't get a whole wad somewhere. And then you can lightly do it like this, light hand, okay? And then I just covered up that gray blob really nicely. Now this has got a lot of the gray and the brown tan. So I would wanna add the white. And again, kinda going in different directions. Hear that? Hear how uh, textury it is? And I would just clear wax this. If you want any more color, you could actually, you know, go in with um, a dark wax. You could make, um, you can make a gray wax with the black wax and the white wax. see some of the glass right in here where I maybe didn't get it thick enough. So if you see that, you just blot some on there where it's thin. Dry it and then dry brush over it. Alright, so see, I covered that up and then I'm just going to, I dried it and I'm just going to Lightly add the 
you'll have to just play with that spot, but I didn't want to be able to see through it. Probably let that dry a little bit more. I actually love that spot because it, it looks very textury. <laughs> so here, um, but okay, so that's it. So I will just paint that and I'll finish. See, that's how we started. That was our base coat. I'll paint down in there as well, like right, like that much down, you know. Again, here's these little beads that are um, so easy to make. And so you can just, um, that looks so good over it, right? But you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great evening and I'll see you real soon, okay?